To celebrate 100 videos on YouTube, I'm giving away a 200 euro flight voucher and it is open worldwide so absolutely everyone can enter. The details are in the description. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good morning from Barcelona. I probably should have started this video yesterday because it's now Saturday and we came here yesterday. But oh my God, when we arrived, we had to wait to get the keys for the Airbnb. It was like 35 degrees, so it was pouring off me. So excuse that, now the Airbnb has been lived in for a full day and it's far from clean. But I wanted to show it to you because it's the perfect location because it's right next to the Sagrada Familia. So if you're not familiar with like taxis or the metro over here, it's really easy to find because it's like a really base place that everyone knows. But I'll just give you a little tour. It was actually really cheap as well. It was like under 400 euro for three nights so it's a really nice size so you come in and this is like the little kitchen area there's like a little island which has turned into like a beauty station then you have um, a little sink fridge some cooking bits and pieces and um, this sofa actually isn't a bed I thought it was so it's for four people there's two double beds but I thought this actually pulled out as well so there's like a little sofa chair Clearly I went to Golden Goose and there's a double bedroom and a shower in this room and then again in here a double bedroom and a shower. It's such a big size. I always think Airbnbs are the way ahead for city breaks because when it's so so hot you definitely want that extra bit of space for coming home and chillaxing and having your siesta and your shower and all the rest of it but yeah. I had some sleep, oh my god, yesterday, I must talk to you about the airport situation, so we went from Dublin, the flight was quarter past six, it was delayed until quarter to seven, we drove up from Cork and like slept in the car and it was just mayhem when we got there, like everything moved, the security line moved, like we weren't like delayed, we had fast track but it wasn't open so I didn't get to use it, they said that I can get a refund for it. And then it was so funny that we had priority for getting on the plane, but everyone else had priority. I don't think there was anyone who didn't, so <laughs> that was also pointless because we ended up being at the back of the queue. Um, but yeah, the airport was just absolutely mayhem. Like, like we're saying, all the queues were moving in terms of like security and passport control and stuff. But like, if you wanted to Starbucks, get a pint, get breakfast, or go to Boots, Boots in particular had the longest queue, like it went around the shop like three times, so I'd say a lot of people just can't cope with the, I like to call it playing Tetris, putting the toy trees into the bag trying to make them fit so the people just buy them in boots, because I actually didn't know that there was boots in the airport, this was Terminal 1 as well by the way, um, it's a huge airport, I, I think this was my first time being in Terminal 1 actually, but yeah it was mayhem, there was lots of people but it was fine, we didn't miss the flight or anything and we came really early actually, by the time we were sitting at the gate, it was like 3.45 and like on the app it only had suggested that we arrive at the airport for 3.45 and we were through security and all by then. I think we got out of the car park at like half two and then you would get a bus which is about 10 minutes from the car park to the airport. So yeah, I hope that was a bit helpful. Okay, so like I said, we stayed near the Sagrada Familia and this is it. I believe you can go in and actually see it from the inside. But my brother said it's quite a long day and you have to buy a shawl and all this stuff. We actually went for food before this to a place called Juice Dudes and it was amazing. So I would highly recommend going there if you just want like a quick casual lunch. Everything's a lot cheaper in Spain too in terms of food, taxis, drink and stuff. But the shops are actually very similar. This is like the main shopping street. I will pop in the name of it here. And this is kind of like all your high-end brands um, and then some high street brands like H&M and Zara but it's mostly like Versace, Fendi, Golden Goose, Kenzo and there's some really nice restaurants along here too. We actually went to one on the last night called La Lolita and you'll see that at the end of the vlog but this is definitely the place where you want to go if you want to go to like Sephora and all these cool shops but there's a lot of independent shops with really cool things. I found this gorgeous shop that had um, jelly cats and summer dresses and you'll see that later on in the vlog too but of course I had to go to Sephora there's actually two and this is the one that's on that main there's actually some street. really cool indoor shopping centres as well and there's actually a golden goose in one of them so there is some things to do if you get caught out in some rain along with museums and other things that you'll see throughout the video but if you want some air conditioning there are some um, indoor shopping centres too and I believe there is a Sephora and a golden goose in one of those indoor shopping centres speaking of golden goose of course I found the flag 
ship store in Barcelona on this street and they did the co-creation so I think this has turned into like something that I just do every time I go away and they have this as an option because it's a really nice way to mark your trip and especially because it's my favorite shoe brand and I live in them anyway it's nice to remember who you're with and why you got them and where you got them and yeah I got mine done here and the artist's name was Letty and she had such great English which was really helpful for me because I had um, a really specific idea and design in my mind and she absolutely killed it but just in case you don't have a specific design in mind they have a book full of inspiration different colors different designs things that other people got there's like a little quotes book which is really nice and I actually took um some inspiration from that to mix in with the idea that I already had so I would definitely recommend doing this especially if you are a golden goose lover like me or if you want to get your first pair it's a nice way to get them created and you don't have to go all out you could just add some charms or gems but I think that when you're paying the extra money you might as well add absolutely everything onto them and I actually added on even more this time than my previous pair so if you want to have a look at my previous pair I will link that video here and um, I did two videos about that actually um and I will do a separate video actually showing you what I got done I'll do a what I bought in Barcelona video so I can go through all of that in more detail then for you guys so then we moved on to this place called the Cosmo Kikes I think it's called I'm gonna pronounce it wrong I had seen this all over TikTok and I was dying to see it now I thought it was just the flooded rainforest but when you get there there is about 20 floors of different science things from exhibitions from dinosaurs to the rainforest is like a penguiny part there's actually experiments that you can do yourself which I loved it wasn't just a matter of watching you actually got to do it this would be another great place to come if you were really really hot someday and you wanted to get in out of the heat or else again if you got caught in a rain shower but this was just absolutely incredible like it was even more impressive in person than it looked on TikTok and it was huge like even where you see the water that was like my height so like five foot three and then after that you had like the actual rainforest that was actually raining it was really cool it was like seeing all the different levels of the rainforest and then the best thing of all which I actually didn't know you could do you actually can go outside into it so you can actually look into the tank you could see the rain falling down there was like these little nooks and crannies that you could crawl into um to get an even better closer look into everything it was really really cool and you could definitely spend hours there and it wasn't too expensive either that's one thing I noticed that all of the amusements and activities and things to do were actually really um affordable and really well priced and everything you could spend a good lot of time in so here's a little look at some of the experiments that you can do so there ones for like sound there was ones about bounce there were things about floating and there was some kind of space age experiments it was just a really really cool thing to do and I loved that you could actually get involved in everything like there was buttons to press and wires to tangle and it was just a really cool thing to do <laughs>
So this is one of the independent shops that I was telling you about. I will put the name on the screen again and look at the beautiful summer clothes that they have. I'm still kicking myself that I didn't get one of those maxi dresses because they were stunning. I just had nowhere to wear them because summer's nearly over. But they had gorgeous jewellery, tops, shorts. I actually got a dress here and they also had jelly cats. So of course I had to go to continue the hunt. Then we went to Badalona, which my brother says is his favourite beach, that it's quieter and cleaner than the Barcelona beach. But I actually preferred the other one just because it was so cloudy and dirty the day that we went. But it's still a really nice area to go to. It's very holiday vibes. There's loads of ice cream shops and summery shops. I actually got a lovely Pandora charm here. So I'd still definitely recommend getting the metro to Badalona for a day or even a few hours. Next up, we have the Kino. And this is near the Macba area. And this is probably my favourite food or second favourite food from the whole trip this is definitely worth going to and um, they had definitely the best potatoes breakfast that we had of the whole trip they had like quesadillas they had prawns and absolutely everything and they do breakfast we also got some really good food in some of the um, restaurants in like the little square area by the Sagrada Familia. So would recommend going there for some food. But the food everywhere is very similar because there's tapas everywhere. This is the Arc de Triomphe on the way to Park Güell. Park Güell is also another must do. The only thing is make sure you book tickets for everything the day before. Because we actually went one day, got the taxi, walked up the hill to go there and it was booked out. So that took a lot of time off of the day before. But yeah, we were prepared then on the Sunday and it's just a really cool place to go but we went on like the day when it was hottest it was like 35 degrees and trust me when I say this is like hiking a mountain <laughs> Speaking of heat, literally pack the lightest, floatiest dresses you have. It's even too hot to wear like shorts and a t-shirt and don't bother bringing a hairdryer or a straightener or makeup because you will simply wear none of it. I Ross was saying to me, you should go maybe May or June for like the lower temperatures or even go like October time if you're more going for the museums and stuff, but definitely going July, August. It's so, so hot. And if you still want to do all of these touristy things, you need to be willing to be doing them in literally 30 35 degrees heat a warning even came up this day saying that the air quality was really unhealthy and unsafe next up we had the area by the moco museum this was another really nice area to go to even if you're not into museums there's just some really quirky shops like this smiley face shop where it's like run by artists and everything's like smiley faces which you know i love and there's some really nice bakeries and other shops there's actually a market um of secondhand clothes that i really wanted to go to but we just didn't get time I, I just took a video of this because i thought it looked really nice and then i went in and they had actually won awards for the best pastries in spain and trust me they were incredible then we went to the moco museum where i literally spent my whole entire life savings on the merch because it was just so cool this was probably one of the major highlights for me of the trip because i'm really into art and kind of art culture and i love colorful things and reading into pictures and stuff so this was really really cool and it was very different and um, I'm into more like abstract colorful art rather than like renaissance style and as you can see everything was very digitalized and modern and cool there was like a last supper with like all rappers and stuff I definitely am adding the Moco Museum in Amsterdam to my list there's um a Picasso Museum as well that we went to we didn't find that as good I think we were just too tired because we had done Parkwell and this museum beforehand so we didn't really get the most out of it but this one was definitely more enjoyable so if you had to pick one or the other I would do this one there's also like a fun museum which is probably more just for fun rather than like art um it's kind of like um illusions and stuff like upside down ice creams and like you stand in a corner of a photo and it looks you know unusual and stuff so you could do that too if you're going with friends or like hen party this is a little look at the Picasso museum there wasn't much there in terms of like colorful paintings and stuff it was more historic and like sketches and stuff so I definitely did prefer the Moco one but I think there's lots of museums around Barcelona there's the Macba one as well that we didn't get to this is the restaurant that I was telling about this is a must to visit really nice for going out for like your special meal out we did this as our last night this is La Lolita and this was on the street where all of the kind of bougie shops and stuff where I think it's called Passia de Gracia or something and as you can see like this is super Instagrammable so cool all the plants and trees and flowers the food was incredible too and really well priced that's one thing I have to say about Barcelona like the food and the taxis are insane compared to here like you could go and get like a full dinner for like 70 euro with drinks desserts and starters you can get like taxis for a half an hour for like 12 euro so I would definitely add here to your list and right next door there was a 
like world famous ice cream shop I can't remember the name of it but you won't be able to miss it because there's usually a queue for like 45 minutes my brother says we got so many unusual things this was like aubergine chips then we got nachos and my brother got a goat's cheese burger my dad just got a normal burger but there was loads on the menu and then the next day we were heading home but we had a few hours to kill before the airport and this is me literally trying to hold in my tears and this is the like Barcelona city beach this is called Barceloneta and this is the area or where the W Hotel is. This is literally on my list. I have to stay here. This is a five star hotel on the beach, and like a night is like 300 euro. Like in Ireland, you stay in like the Clayton for 300 euro. And then we went to brunch and cake, and I met Aileen. Um, I actually looked up Instagrammable cafes, and she came up on the feed. And I was like, we have to meet up. Then I went to Board Riders, which is like a really cool shop for like skateboarding and surfing clothes. And I got a Roxy t-shirt, but I would definitely recommend going in there, even if you're not into like skating and surfing. And that is the end of my travel guide vlog. If I missed any of your questions, I've answered all of them that have come in on Instagram in the description. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and let me know how you get on in your trip to Barcelona.